Hello, my name is Anne, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your Open G apps or any other G apps uh, package in order to fit your need. Now you're all familiar with this. This is the Open G apps project that you know you know you know that is used to install Google apps on uh, your phone, right? When you install a new ROM for for smartphone. Uh, but I actually see that some uh, that we um, that we use here, for example, the Slim G apps or PA G apps, for example, uh, those do not have the Aroma variant here. L look at the Aroma variant. Here. You can see this is the Aroma variant, and uh, some other G app variant, right? Like the PA or Slim, they do not have the Aroma variant, making it impossible to really have to choose to make you customizable all the way well, making it you know uh, select which application to install for example okay so what I'm thinking that uh, which so if you don't so any GS variant that does not have a Roma, a Roma variant how you gonna do this right so you have to do yourself you have to manually remove add applications uh, from the GS package so let me just show you here so let's just take a look and uh, the first thing you need to know is to get this one. This is the PAG apps package comparisons uh, from Pico or to stock. Okay, we're going to look only for the stock version. Okay, so uh, we only work with stock and this is from the website at the bottom. Uh, thank you again for providing me and um, let's take a look at the chart here and let's take a look at my personal uh, PAG apps uh, package, and this is the um, this is the GS package we look in here. Okay. Now there are two ways of obtaining uh, the list of applications that are going to install. Uh, the first uh, method is to find a GApps config text file. Look at that. So, so look at the file called GApps config. As you can see, look for the look for the text file. And if, if you do not have one, if you do not have uh, the uh, GS config file, you need to look at other method, which is going to GApps folder record, which uh, includes a list of application that is going to install uh, when you flash this package. Now, before you go to the GApps, let me just take a look at the GApp remove text here. This is the uh, the file that is going to uh, direct which app will be removed when you uh, install when you flash this package uh, I don't really know if it's true but um, yeah I mean I don't really know but so this is the, this is the GApps remove okay this might be the, the GApps config but let's take a look at the second method which is using a GApps uh, folder right here look at that look at the uh, folder contained a list of uh, different applications that we're going to install that the GApp package is going to install on your phone, and we're going to face against the, the chart right here. The chart right here. Look at that. We're going to put up the list right here, as you can see. And what you need to do on this um, on this thing is to go is to go ahead and look for the file that you do not need and remove them now we are I'm going to make a most of uh, warning here okay the first thing is the application that are uh, painted in yellow or painted in yellow and in a yellow background okay these are the applicants that are going to replace stock or AOSP version of app included in the ROM okay so if this application when installed will replace your stock app like if so for like for example you install Wolf dialer it will remove directly the AOSP dialer or your stock dialer applications where, where, whether you what your uh, dialer application is it will be replaced <coughs> by the Google dialer app okay that's the one example and uh, look at the uh, look at the list look at the um, notice here these are the two one here okay these two doesn't really make any difference the, the difference is to avoid potential problems and see advanced options to override okay 
So look at all of the applications painted in yellow, okay? Any applications painted in yellow, look at them, look for them, okay? And what you need to do with these kinds of painted in yellow applications here, okay? Any uh, apps that are painted in yellow, don't remove them. Don't remove them at all here, okay? If you remove them, it might be it might be off it might be risky that your apps will not have any download application at all here for example you um, you want to install the google phone but you remove the google phone applications and you place them which means that your phone will not have a phone app at all okay that is my warning here so what you gonna do is you want to 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 exclude all of the uh, the, 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 the painted in yellow applications okay and don't remove them if you remove them it might be high risk okay so look at the other applications but and up, look at all of the rest the rest one is the one in the gray okay the, the, in, the one in blue or uh, to replace the gallery that is also you need to let's say replace as well okay Okay, uh, Google Plus, Google Plus, yeah. It might be replacing the gallery application, for example, okay. So, uh, look at the gray uh, point, okay, the gray, the gray one, okay, the gray, look at the gray, okay, the gray applications. And what you're gonna do with these gray applications is you're going to decide yourself whether you're gonna need, you're gonna need that app or not, okay. This is a very, very, necessary for some slow storage phone like a 4 gigabyte phone like my Sony Xperia E only has 4 gigabyte of storage so which means that uh, I have to uh, exclude some of the applications here probably most of them because they are so useless and putting on this phone will make this thing even heavier okay so what I'm gonna do is to look at the gray app and decide again decide which you need and which you don't which app you don't remove them off the list okay so let's, let's uh, look at the example here the first thing is street view and google maps so you see this is street view here and i don't need this application at all here so what i'm going to do is uh the first step is to look for the keywords so this is the this is the, the list here the keywords for GF config and look for the keyword of the application you're going to remove. For example, um, street view we have street and you need to find this street uh, folder on this device on the package and you can see this is a tree application here. This one contains the APK file of the Google, Google Street View applications. Okay, it has a folder it will install using APK file. Uh, what you need to do is to remove them off the list. Okay, now it's better to use make a backup out of this one because you know it might be um, risky and your file may be corrupted and then you have to install the whole thing again. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, shoot the backup here and let's put the street folder here so the folder okay put the entire folder of the application to the back of folder and then potentially delete it off the list and then boom the application will not be installed okay now what I'm going to do is going to continue let me tell me a couple of more for example the first thing is the cloud print I don't want cloud print any uh, for any mean right because I don't have a printer so I'm going to do about the list Put them on the backup folder and then delete them up all for once. Okay, so once again, of course, when you're done, close the this save this the file and you should be done. And you have nothing, nothing to worry about if your storage is getting low. Uh, be sure to delete as much as possible. You have very low storage because you may not need them at all. So, this is what uh, I instruct you about how to customize. Uh, the um, customized the GF package and another thing is that you can even add applications as well you, 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 you can actually add some app that you want into it as well for example, Facebook Messenger you can still add them as well this is totally fine okay this is my last word so this is what uh, this video is all about and uh, thanks for watching 
my my channel is almost with 600 subscribers so it's going to be very happy all thanks for you and also my friends who's watching my friends uh, who's also watching this video uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time make sure to subscribe this video for more video goodbye